Hello guys, this is me, Casper Miller. In game I'm known as Kadian, 20 years old, playing the all-round position on SK Gaming. Today I'm going to be providing you a video about how to roam with the AWP and cash and what possibilities it has of do all ping on this map. As you can see in this position, I have a good spawn. I'm going to make use of that by going fast towards the A-bomb side. In this round, I'm going to try to break the default of the terrorist. I'll do this with an aggressive peek onto A-main. I'm holding this very tiny angle for any terrorist who's going to try to shoulder peek or anything similar to this. If nothing happens after 15-20 seconds, I'm going to be calling for my teammate to throw this instant flash. What you do is you line up with the wall and you aim at the rust, as you can see pointing out here with the double zoom. When this flashbang is thrown, you then have to be... I'm just going to actually show you with the grenade how it pops. So as you can see, it's in the middle of the air, it's going to blind any terrorist who sneaked up behind this box to try and re re maintain control over the aiming position. What's then very important is as soon as this flashbang pops, you go out of your zoom and you dodge the flashbang and then you go out for a wider peak trying to take down this single member who's in the A main. If that happens, you can decide to smoke main. You can do that as well if it doesn't happen. This is going to allow you a lot of control of the map and it's going to scare the terrorists that you have information about where they're going this early in the round. This smoke that I just showed you is a set smoke that everyone who's playing A on cash should be able to do. It's smoking off A main perfectly on the perfect line. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can throw it so it's going to have a small gap in the right side of the smoke. So you can catch your terrorist who's unaware that this gap is going to be there and he's going to try to sneak to the opposite side of A main. I'm going to show it one more time. You go in front of the car and you aim at the red line of the Arabian letters, I think, Russian letters. What you can also do is you can get a teammate to throw it as showed in this situation. Then you go for the A-Doll uh, peak. When you're going for the A-Doll peak, you have to make a decision fairly quick. If they're not coming very fast, then you need to decide if you want to go before the smoke fades or if you're going to go more aggressively and search information once again. There's different approaches depending on what kind of player you are, what playstyle you want to have. All you need to know is you should do whatever's best for you. So when you go for this peak, once again, as you can see, I'm crouching and standing up and crouching and standing up around the corners. The reason for me to do this is because that if any terrorist is pre-aiming the position, they're not going to be able to hit my head because I'm always crouching and ducking, so I'll be in an unexpected height. This position, or this AWP position that I'm showing you right now, is a more passive one. The importance of doing double up setups is also that you're able to take passive positions. When you go for this peak, you can either throw this right click flash, and go for a re-peak, or you can throw it and get an escape. Either one can be effective depending on how the terrorists are coming with their aggression towards this bump site. So you can play around this um, this box in the bottom of uh, in the back of the A side, and as you can see, some players are having the capability of doing no scopes in these positions. Do whatever's most com comfortable for you. I'm also going to show you that. If you get a peek and no one else is coming, you can actually wallbang this wall in case anyone is waiting in the door or trying to search information towards a um, highway or middle. So that's something effective you can do as well. The last trick I'm going to show you, you on the A-bomb side is jumping up on this thing on the side. You're going to slide up and you're going to have a peek above the boxes to see if anyone, anyone is coming in A-main. This is going to allow you free information without dying, which can be very telling for your team to stay alive and not take the battles too fast as ET. When doing double orb on cash, or in general just playing the middle position, it's very important to have communication with your teammate. What I would advise you is that when your teammate is coming out of middle with you, make sure that he always pre smokes middle for you. This way you'll have more grenades for your own to make sure that you can maintain control over middle as long as possible, which is a very essential part of cash. He will smoke down bottom of mid and you will molotov the boost. The boost is a very pos a dangerous position for you to hold, because you can only see the top of their heads and some players will be insanely dangerous to play against in these kind of positions. When the smoke of your teammate is then fading in the bottom of mid, you'll make sure to re-smoke it. When you re-smoke it, you'll grant yourself 17 more seconds to have easy control over the middle area. After these 17 seconds, exchange might have been happening on the different bump sides. If not, you might have rotation from A or you might have a teammate in ventilations to help you re remain this map control of middle. The reason why it's so insanely important is because it allows the terrorist way too easy splits on the different bump sites and it gets your CT rotation way slower. 
One of the positions some players also go to is sandbags. I wouldn't advise you to go here with an AWP since it's insanely hard to get more than one kill and you don't want to go for trades or CT. Other than that, make sure to hold this position when bottom of mid is smoked, be ready to kill him. A cool feature is that you can actually wallbang the bottom of this. It's not very useful, but you can do it if you feel like it. The B side of cash allows you, allows you with AWP to do a lot of different moves. So when doing the double up setup in cash, it's very important that you're able to roam. Roaming doesn't always mean that you go for aggressive peaks, though the B bump side on cash really allows you to. I'm going to show you some of the features. One of them is to drop down very quickly and take this angle. As soon as you have the first peak, you can line up this flashbang and throw it. What I do here is a small mistake since I'm lining up too close to the wall, which is going to give the opponent a chance of watching my shoulder before I can see them. Therefore, as I'm in the second time going to show you, I'm going to take a bit more distance to the wall to make sure that I have a better advantage, a big advantage and a better chance of using the flashbang for my own advantage. So after this peak, you can either go for the flashbang and kill another one, or you can get your teammate who's helping you in B to smoke off the entrance and you'll run away safely. The thing is, when you're retreating after the first contact, you will need to have some go-to moves where you need to be sure that you can always feel comfortable. Whether that's in CT, on the headshot position, or maybe even in heaven, you have to figure out your own what your playstyle is. I would not recommend you to do the double zoom right here, as demonstrated you have a much uh, bigger vision when doing one zoom only. This is going to allow you to watch the incoming smokes and flashbangs and make you able to do counter grenades or be ready for it. What I show you right here would be the obvious thing, to have the aggressive angle when the tails are coming in. But what I'm doing right there is doing an off angle. I'll show you why. When the terrorists are coming into peak, they're going to look for the headshot position and then they're going to clear side. This is the position where you'll actually get them in the side, when they turn around from the headshot position to look at the bump side. Sometimes you want to take positions where they're not actually looking at you because that's going to give you an even higher chance of killing them. A lot of players go to that position and just took the shot off on side and then they drop down. Otherwise they fall to CT or heaven, but these spots you already know. What I did there was a way of getting an aggressive entry kill, but sometimes you want to go for map control as well. So if you have the good B spawn and you're gonna drop down from heaven, you hold your double zoom for, for a small amount of seconds to see if anyone is crossing fast. In case it's not, you go for the single zoom. As on the A bump side, I'm doing this crouch stand, crouch stand once again to make sure that if they're pre-aiming me, they're not gonna have me in the correct height when I'm coming around the corners. When you get this far pushed, you have a lot of information and a lot of intel. You know that they could be peaking this angle, so I'm letting go of my control and shift to get a higher movement speed with the scope, still without them being able to hear my footsteps. If nothing is happening, you can either run back and tell your teammate to come with a rifle to cover it, or you can actually go into this corner, which is very tricky. The terrorists will not check this corner if you haven't made any sounds, I can guarantee you that much. When they're crossing past you, instead of get getting the first contact, it's insanely important to inform your teammates that it's going to be a B hit. This might buy them 3, 4, 5 seconds to faster rotate to the B bump side and get better positioning before the terrorist is going to be entering the bump side. If you do not have a good B spawn, but you still want to go there, you can throw this smoke with a small gap in the side to try and catch an unaware, unaware terrorist trying to enter the B lobby. As you can see, there's not going to be a smoke there, but he's going to see it and he's going to sneak forward to get information. This is where you can get the easy kill and still retreat safely because of the smoke. Thanks a lot guys for watching my video on how to play the AWP and cash. I hope it's going to be useful for you guys. Make sure to subscribe to the HyperX channel. There's going to be more tips in here.